God, oh my God. Hi everyone, James Acaster here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Blue album, The Color Blue. This is the latest full-length LP from LA rapper Blue, who's been on a serious creative streak as of late, dropping some of the best stuff of his career between a long, red-hot Los Angeles summer night, his Miles record with Exile, then his new project here too, which is also a concept of sorts, with multiple references to the color blue, which if you're familiar with Blue's work up until this point, he's no stranger to. I mean, he did his fair share of it on the Miles record with Blue As I Can Be and Roots of Blue. But now with the color blue, he's really going the distance with this. You would think that non-stop lyrics, song titles, and samples in reference to the color blue, uh, literally and metaphorically, would get old after 11 tracks and 40 minutes, but uh, no, it doesn't. Especially when you're as witty, as high concept, and as good at songcraft as Blue. It's actually sort of ingenious on this LP just how much mileage he gets out of this one idea, as he uses it as a vehicle to explore himself, his feelings, the world's troubles at large. And as I was just saying, much of what Blue says on this record ties in creatively with the instrumentals too. With creative chops and samples of jazz, and especially blues music, like on the song I Am Blue, or the stomp clap groove of everyday blues. There are also some excellently sculpted and implemented vocal samples from some pretty popular source material. Not exactly like Blue is being secretive about where this stuff is coming from given some of the titles of these tracks. Because the sky is blue is literally named after the Beatles lyrics from the song Because that are used in the song. We Are Darker Than Blue obviously pulls from the legendary Curtis Mayfield cut. And if you're a fan at all of electric Light Orchestra, you'll recognize the song Mr. Blue Sky right away. But yeah, the production on this thing is consistently killer. Colorful, catchy, well-balanced, it has a lo-fi warmth to it, and some of the chops are a little rough and dirty in just the right classic way. The boom bap grooves and delayed vocal chops and DJ cuts on the song People Call Me Blue are absolutely infectious. The chaotic jazz samples throughout You Ain't Never Been Blue are electrifying as well, which uh, this track is not to be confused with the song of the same title off of Miles. And then there's the kid show intro and the droning croons of the word blue. Blue! that are all layered up on the song Bluer Than Blue, these are absolutely gorgeous and transcendent. Then the heavenly vocal harmonies throughout the closer are the perfect setting for Blue's lyrical tribute to friends and family who have passed over his lifetime, as well as massively influential figures, figures who artistically and societally have been influential to him. And there are other excellently executed themes throughout the rest of the record, too. Because the sky is blue with its consistent nature themes cropping up every few bars or so, I was born to be Blue addresses poverty and various other adversities that Blue and those around him as he was coming of age may have been struggling through. We Are Darker Than Blue explores themes of Afrocentrism and blackness, with a direct and pointed message to fans of color with Blue saying, I'm talking to you. As he's going over topics of race and history, Jesus, Martin Luther King, civil rights. Thematically, the one head scratcher on the LP for me was uh, maybe the track You Ain't Never Been Blue, which seems almost like a bitter turn against the hope and the aspirations of so many of the other tracks here. To a degree, he kind of undermines his own problems and struggles on this track by citing that uh, other people go through much worse, maybe as a means to self-motivate or kind of put things in perspective. I get the general sentiment of the track, I just don't think it's the most level-headed commentary on the entire LP. And that does make it stand out because the rest of the record comes off so nuanced and empathetic. There are some bars and flows on this project that do have a semi hysterical lyrical miracle uh, sort of quality to them here and there, but even when this does occur, uh, it seems like Blue is doing this more for fun than just flash. It still manages to be impressive, especially in just how effortless a lot of his rapping and performances uh, come across. It's so relaxed and it's so natural that even as he is rapping his ass off and hitting us with some creative rhyme schemes and rhyme patterns, he is still delivering in a way where it sounds like he's just kind of having a conversation. So overall, The Color Blue I thought was a great record, 
really enjoyable, not obviously as epic or as thorough or as far reaching as Miles last year, but still massively impressive in its writing, its songcraft, its execution and style. I'm feeling a strong A to a light nine on this one, Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, music, blue, forever.